Hey everybody, this is Dallas Stone here doing uh, Let's 3 Model, episode 98. Alright, alright, alright. So, um, we're in the middle of modeling this dumpster. Uh, I'm going to, in this episode, add some of like creases and stuff like that to it. Uh, can I show you guys how to do that? So, I'm, essentially right now, I'm at like the detailing part of this. So, I'm just going to... Um, I just add little small details. Just making things look pretty. Um, so I'm going to add a few more things here. So I want to add kind of like a little frame to this. Um, how do I how, how can I do this here so what I could do is I can add I can, add, I can insert another edge loop right there and what I can do is I can so let's just do that on both sides first <clears throat> it's gonna be doing I'll obviously have to do some cleanup afterwards obviously uh, but for now just gonna extrude these faces in. Alright. Just kind of give it that shape. And these it's gonna have to go like and I don't yeah, and then I'll be using the bridge or the bridge tool here. Uh, so just Bridge, just connect those together. Same thing here. Yep, there we go. What I like about the bridge tool is that it snaps the vertices together, right? So I don't have to worry about it. And for all intents and purposes, I'm actually just going to scale this in just to kind of make sure that it doesn't cut through anywhere. All right. So I want to add some little details here. So what I will do is I will use the multi-cut tool. Hold on, let me just select this thing. Uh, multi-cut tool. And I'm just going to cut a few things. So I'm going to cut... It looks like there's one like right here. And I'll cut it like... Is that even straight? It doesn't look straight at all. Uh, is that straight? It doesn't need to be straight, but I would like it to be straight. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to delete this. Easy way to get this to make sure that it's straight is just a split polygon tool. Or sorry, insert edge loop tool, insert edge loop tool. Go to options, go to multiple, go to two, and there. Now you know for sure that's going to be uh, average correctly. And again, I'll I'll clean all I'll clean that all up afterwards because that's not exact that's not exactly what I want to do. But um, so I'll, I'll do all that cleanup afterwards. For now, I'm just trying to get as uh, the polygons that I want. Whoa. Let's uh, go back here. Let's reset the tool. Let's just go like that. Like that. There we go. There we go. Okay, and all I want to do is kind of cut that in a bit. Cut this in a bit. And I need to harden these edges up. Right. Maybe it's just the top ones. I just need to harden the top ones. And and then these other ones are just soften. Right? So something like that. Let's turn off wireframe here. There. So now you kind of get that kind of loop. Right? Looks pretty cool. <clears throat> and um, so I kind of get that going on. Right? Right? You can see that. And I'll probably do the same for this as well. Sorry. 
just like these edges in the middle just bump them in a bit I'm gonna harden these top edges and I'll keep the bottom ones soft to give us that nice little fake feel uh, I noticed that these faces here did not get the same treatment as the other side so I'm just going to extrude these out like so just gonna move it out just a tad bit like that kind of give it that look and obviously it doesn't look correct right so I'll fix that by uh, going to snapping it snapping the verts right out there okay so what I'll do is I'll actually take these faces and I will convert to vertices and I will not snap here but I will snap to I have to go to worlds first yeah yeah this world and then just snap every single one of them to that doesn't seem to be working though but actually it should be it actually looks like it's This one looks like it's a bit off now, so I'm just gonna. Okay, something definitely did not work out the way that I wanted to. Okay, so what I'm gonna do before I do this, I'm just gonna undo everything. Undo all this selection here. Undo all that. Undo moving all this out. I'm gonna do this first. Now, what's really handy in Maya is the infinite undoes. Okay, there we go. So now this should make things a little bit easier. Now, I'll harden the edges and voila. There you go. Okay, so now we have pretty decent looking dumpster obviously there's still much more to do um so you know i'm looking at this picture here and i see like these little triangle things so that's pretty easy to achieve so i can probably do that right now um so what i'll do is i'll start off with a cube again Right, start off with a cube, and I'll just um, scale from the Z. Right, and I mean they're pretty small pieces, so this is a little bit too big. I think something like that is probably pretty good, and um, so I could probably go something like like that. And I'm just going to move, so I won't need the faces here, and I won't need the faces here. I'm going to move <clears throat> this edge all the way to here. I'm going to merge these vertices. There we go. And now I have like a little triangle, and I can place it where I want it to go. Obviously, I need to be very careful here. And not have um, any Z fighting. So I'm gonna bring it right there. Move this back, these, this edge and face over a bit. And there you go. Right? It cost me four triangles to create that. And if I really wanted to, I can add some bevels to it. Um, for now, I'm not gonna worry too much. I mean, Oh, let's see. Let's see how it looks if I bevel it. Uh, I'll bevel just these two here. Uh, just a bevel. And I'll just yeah, that that's fine. It's only it only doubled the the poly count, and it didn't really hurt it. I'm just gonna soften the edges there, and there you go. Yeah, it just makes it look more crisp, I guess, or a little more realistic. I'm just gonna save my file here. 
So I'm just going to duplicate these. These are just, just very rough. I don't really know if that's the center of the dumpster or not. There's an easy way to find out what the, where the center is. If I just want to find out where the center is, I can easily just... Um, what am I doing? I'm just going to insert... Oh, what am I doing? Okay, hold on. Select the edge, insert, split, and there you go. Now I know the center of that. I just center pivot, go to a wireframe so I can see this easier. Move this there, and there you go. That's the center, right? Pretty easy. I actually don't mind having that that uh, division there, just for uh, for baking purposes. It'd be very handy to have. So here I can just easily um, combine this, right? It's, it's one object, and then I can, um, if I wanted to, split this as well. Uh, duplicate it. Go to wireframe again. Move the pivot to this vertice and if I go to minus one on the Y I'll have be able to duplicate it I'm going to freeze the transformations here so that the uh, faces aren't flipped and now we have it on both sides right now we have this little kind of dumpster thing we'll turn off the wireframe so it looks a little bit more natural and then I'll just combine this now right um, and I will delete the history and I will control D, control D for duplicate minus one on the X axis and I'll have it on the other side as well. So it's kind of like a, just a little quick mirroring thing. And now I have kind of like that little detail on there. All right. And, um, and what I can do, and I feel like I should do this right now. I'm just going to soften these edges because I feel like right now they're a bit hard. Just gonna soften those edges there. There we go. All right. And again, like I said, I'll do some cleanup in a bit. But right now I got like these arms. They're all good, right? I got these arms ready to go. I'm just gonna combine them. Just gonna combine them. And I'm just going to delete all of my history, and I'm and I should really start paying attention to my outliner, um, and start deleting things that I don't need, and start renaming things properly. So uh, these two, I'm going to call them arms. I'm just going to call them. I'm just going to combine. Uh, delete history. Dumpster arm. Arms, I guess, right? Uh, these are like the wheels right now so i'm just going to rename these to rename go to wheels right and then i'll just rename them and um this would just be the main dumpster dumpster all right so uh yeah so that's kind of does it for this episode I think I mean if I really want to add a little bit more detail here I would actually I'll create I'll just go here I'll just move this down just a tad bit and um, obviously there's some end gons going on so I'm just going to multi cut tool this uh, what's going on here okay so that won't work so I need to multi cut tool like this. What is going on here? Why won't you let me do it? Okay, it won't let me do that for some reason. Then, so I'm just going to. You know what's going on here? Okay, I'll, I'll 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 do that later. I think I'll do that later. Um, because what's going on right now is that it doesn't like uh the five sidedness that's going on here. So I'm just going to hmm yeah, it's not liking that at all. So if I go like oh, if I go like this, and I go like that. Yeah, this is why it's so important to keep things clean. I'm just going to hide these wheels. 
It's going to go to wireframe mode. It's being super picky. Okay, and then I'm just going <clears> to <throat> go to vertices, uh, target weld. Whoa. Here we go. I'm just going to weld these together. There. See, now if I select them, I should not have any issues. Extrude. Bring these down a bit. There you go. And now if I bring these back, I'm good, right? It's just a little small detail. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think in the next episode, I'm just going to finish off by uh, putting on the top part of the dumpster and creating the wheels. And that's sh that, that should be it for the dumpster. So thank you guys for watching, and hopefully you guys are learning. And uh, see you guys again next time.